so please stick around even if you're um, just sort of visiting tonight and don't have any particular desire to learn precision or OCP super precision because certainly almost all of the uh, uh, continuations and responses that OCP uses can be applied to absolutely any bidding system on the planet um, whether you use four card majors or five card majors you can just adjust um, the requirements for all of these responses to suit whatever system you're playing um, and some may not be appropriate you may decide that you want to have a, a game forcing category of response like jump shifts um, but precision manages quite happily over major suit openings or OCP does without uh, without having any game forcing responses thank you Roger So, as you will see later on in the series, um, with 11 to 15 and exactly 5-5 five, five in the majors, we open two no trumps. Um, so if it goes one spade, then a response, then two hearts, later on in the series, uh, that cannot be 5-5. Five, five. It will either be 5-4 or 6-4 or 6-5, but it won't be exactly 5-5. Five, five. But for the time being, those shape hands we will open with one spade so the next thing um, as you'll see in one of the example hands here uh, in a minute um, if you've got 11 15 points and a five card major you have to open it with one heart or one spade or two no trumps later on in the, the series because all of the other intermediate openings specifically deny holding a five card major very important a lot of people who come from a background of standard American or um, uh, ACOL or two over one um, may think it odd that you've got a relatively weak five card major and a very strong six card minor but you still open it with the major the reason is is that if you open it with the minor you're never going to convince partner that you've got five of the major because if you've got five of the major playing position you must open it with one heart or one spade Okay, any, uh, anybody got any questions on the requirements for the, the one heart or one spade opening? I'm not going to deal tonight with upgrading and downgrading hands into one club or um, down from one club into one heart or one spade. Uh, when we get to the one club sequences, I will spend a little bit of time on that. Um, as I said last week, um, we do we do take account of playing strength in precision, um, and uh, obviously that's very important. Um, but it's not a matter of methodically adding so many points for extra length in the suit or whatever. It's just the overall flavour of the hand that we tend to to look at. Uh, absolutely right Michael yes it can um, uh, but that's to do with playing strength you know if you give yourself ace king to six spades and um, queen ten nine to six diamonds yes of course I'd open it one spade you know the playing strength of that hand takes it well beyond any nine count um, 
you know, six six hands or even six five hands have a, a playing strength all of their own, especially if your high card points are concentrated in those long suits. Um, but uh, for the most part, unless you're talking about fairly extreme distribution hands, we just tend to look at point count uh, for the requirements for the opening. Um, and yes, we, we tend to upgrade or downgrade from that starting point. But, uh, you know, you're talking about a fairly extreme hand there. Okay. Well, no, you've got to open it with the major. And suit quality has nothing to do with it. The point is, if you open your, your strong five card minor, if you're playing precision, you will never convince partner that you've got the fifth card in your major, ever. Because the minor suit opening of one diamond or two clubs specifically denies having a five card major. You cannot have a five card major if you open that. Do you follow that, Walid? Okay. Anybody got any questions so far? Apart from that. So if you look at this hand here, um, if you were playing two over one or standard American and North open one spade, South would have to find a response here. Um, they absolutely couldn't afford to pass one spade. But playing precision where North is limited to a maximum of 15 high card points, there's absolutely no incentive for South to do anything. So you would have a, a very different bidding sequence um, between two over one or standard American and uh, precision on this hand. Because in precision, it's just going to go South's got a seven count, but even if North's got a, a bursting maximum of 15, that only just gives us the, the, the balance of the points. South has no particular... You, you basically, Octa, you, you, if you've got a 10 count, you either upgrade it to a one opener or downgrade it to a week two if you've got a six card major. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Well, was that what you were on about, Octaves, if you have a six card major and a ten count?
Okay, I'll, I'll assume yes. If you've got a five card major, then if you've got some really good distribution you might upgrade it to a one opener otherwise you would just pass As here, there's no incentive for South to do anything. He's quite happy to play in spades, opposite a five or six card major. Um, he's got some support, but he's got no roughing value elsewhere, and he's no need to bid anything. And, and sequences like this are much more common in precision than they are in any other bidding system, or in any strong club system. Um, knowing that the, the one spade or one heart opener is limited to 15 points gives us a huge advantage we're going to end up playing this hand in one spade and happily making whereas people in two spades might struggle they're probably going to lose two spades uh, two hearts a diamond and a club so one spade will make two spades may go off unless ops get busy If it goes one spade pass 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 you might but the fact is it's only going to be a part score fit and yes it, it may be that you'll make one extra or even two extra tricks in hearts but by the same token um, you'll sometimes get too high and still end up playing in spades If you if you force yourself to find a bid the fact is if the hand belongs in a part score and you're not totally unhappy with with spades which is the case on the hand displayed here um, what incentive is there to 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 bid on over one spade yes one no Trump might play better um, as far as South is concerned two clubs might play better but there's no safe way to reach it Okay, Phil. Anybody else uh, worried about this business of, of just passing if you've got nothing better to suggest and you've got a weak hand? It's, it's one of the fundamental advantages, I have to say, that, that precision has, is that you don't have to bid anything here. You know, generally speaking, I'm talking about most 0 to 7 high card point hands where you don't have um, support for openers major. If you do, it's a different question entirely. But if you don't have support for openers major and you've got 0 to 7 points, most of the time you're going to pass. If you've got, um, you know, a 7 card suit of your own, and no tolerance for openers major slightly different uh, as I'll come to shortly but uh, we'll leave that for now anybody else got any questions about um, sequences where opener just uh, sorry responder just passes And obviously the nearer you get to that 10 count where you could potentially miss game the more incentive there is to actually find a bid um, and there are just see if I've got an ex an example
Um, if you have a 2255 shape, I suggest you contact the tournament director and say you've had a misdeal. Um, if you mean 2155, um, no, not really. Uh, the thing is, is that, is that if you, you have to bear in mind that a two over one, you know, you, you might bid one no trump. If partner owns one spade, you might bid one no trump. And if partner bids two hearts, you just give preference to two spades and that's fine. And if they bid two clubs or two diamonds, then again, you can happily pass that because they will have at least three cards in the suit and, and you're happy. So 2155 and partner opens your doubleton, you could afford to bid one no trump. Hoping that partner's going to bid a minor, but able to give preference to spades if they don't. But if partner opens your singleton, I wouldn't. No, I would just pass. If you've got a weak hand. This is, this is talking about 0 to 7 or 0 to 8 point hands. Um, when you get to sort of 9 or 10, you have to judge whether you can safely bid something, whether you've got um, some expectation of getting into something better. And there are times when it's worth doing. Um, I'm not saying you're always going to pass with 0 to 9. Um, so you need to judge how, how the sequence is likely to go. Um, so if you've got 2155, yes, you could bid one no trump over one spade. And if partner bids two hearts, you just give preference to spades at the two level, and that's fine. Um, if partner bids a minor, you just pass. So there you've got a, you've got a, a realistic plan for how to proceed depending on what partner bids. But just bidding one no trump, I, I mean, we haven't come to one no trump yet. Uh, just bidding that because you don't particularly like spades um, is a losing strategy playing precision. Any more questions before we move on? Okay.
so this hand playing precision the west hand um, you've got a nice roughing value in hearts and clubs for that matter um, not much in the way of points but it's got four card support so he's going to be able to make some tricks roughing in hearts and uh, maybe even one in clubs uh, and actually you're probably going to make more than uh, you're probably going to make nine tricks here uh, so um, that west hand is a perfect two spade bid uh, it's not a limit bid it's primarily obstructive um, from West's point of view, uh, West knows that East-West have a maximum of 19 high card points between the two hands. So he wants to do anything they can to obstruct the North-South bidding. And as you can see here, North-South can probably make quite a bit. Um, might even make game in hearts. But it's quite difficult for for north south to come in over two spades north's fairly balanced he doesn't know if partner's got anything or not um, east could be maximum and south could be weaker than they are um, south isn't strong enough to do anything and north's got a problem because they've got quite a good holding in spades let's look at another one No, no, my love. Sleep well. Sanya, you could do. It depends on your style and specific, really specific agreements with partner. Um, you know, I'm not saying it would be wrong to bid three spades there. Uh, um, I'm just saying that's a, an absolutely typical two spade bid. Uh, you could you could bid two spades with with a much less good hand than that. Just hang on a minute, guys. Yes, Naomi. Yeah, well. No, no. So here, um, the only thing probably that's stopping North from bidding four hearts is the fact they've got no controls. Uh, yes, they've got nice four card support in hearts and the Void Diamond, but they've got they've got no sort of quick aces or kings in either of the other suits. Um, so the possibility of having um, lots of quick losers. Um, is there despite having the good heart support um, so probably three hearts is more appropriate here with the north hand if they had uh, the odd king instead of queens and jacks then they might well bid four uh, as it happens south's got three bullets and shape uh, themselves and so they're going to bid four just on the balance of probabilities and as you can see, uh, it's going to make 10 tricks very comfortably. Um, in fact, you'll probably make 11. Okay, so any questions on, on preemptive raises? Like I said, direct suit raises in precision, or certainly in OCP, are not limit bids. Uh, we do effectively use limit bids, but we use different sequences for those, and they tend to be 
um, more for relatively balanced hands. Um, if you've got shape and really good roughing support and and good trump support, you tend to to pick a more preemptive kind of response, like one spade, three spades, or one spade, four spades. And it may well be that, that, that you will end up with fairly similar sequences if you're playing precision than if you're playing two over one or standard American. Um, but the, the message behind those responses is subtly different. You know, if you, that first hand, um, you know, if you mechanically start adding on, you know, two points for a singleton, um, you know, you might end up with a similar answer, but the fact is, uh, the message behind one spade, two spades, in precision and standard American, is is subtly different. Okay, any questions on direct suit raises before we move on? Okay. No, with no roughing values, I just pass with a six count, with a flat four three 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 six count, I just pass, Sanya. You're happy to play in one heart or one spade. You don't have a roughing value, so you've got not very much to really help opener. The fact is, you know, it may be ops hand here. And okay, you 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 might be able to make two spades. But it's unlikely that ops have a game on, and it may well be that you know one spade is the limit of the hand. You've got no roughing value, uh, unless partner's got a long second suit. So, you know, preemptive raises are just that, and they're based on a point count. Sorry, not a point count, but on a um, on trump support and a roughing value. Trump support without the roughing value is much less help. So the roughing value is, is important. Um, so with that hand, I would just pass one heart or one spade. I've got nothing better to suggest. And if partner's only got an 11 count, I don't want to, to get us into trouble needlessly. You know, if one spade's going to go one off, two spades might be going two off doubled what's the incentive okay okay so obviously over a mage suit opening the only suit response that's at the one level is one heart one spade anything else is going to be a two over one uh, which I'll come to in a minute. But later on in the sequence, um, similarly, new suits at the three level are almost always forcing for one round at least, um, just as in other systems. Uh, in that respect, precision is really no different than anything else. The difference comes with two over ones. Okay, so two over ones, precision treats as being forcing to two no trumps. Um, that takes 
some pressure off us in terms of necessarily trying to find all of our bids um, below the level of two no trumps because we can afford to to bid one thing knowing that partner isn't going to pass it so it might go one spade two clubs and opener may be absolutely bursting maximum with four card diamonds but they don't have to to bid three diamonds they can just bid two diamonds because the two club bid was forcing to two no trumps and and so two diamonds isn't going to get passed um, so partner might have you know for example six card spades and four card diamonds they can afford to show the second suit first and then stress the spades later on if need be um, so as I've said there delayed game raises are generally a mild slam try in precision um, but it's only really wanting to maybe push for a slam if opener is maximum and has good controls and has some kind of a useful fit with their suit doesn't necessarily have to be you know three to a top honor but something like high x in in responders suit would be a really good uh holding to have whereas three small or a singleton or worse still a void isn't necessarily nearly as good okay uh, as you'll see later on in the series actually the even delayed game raises are quite rare in OCP um, if if responders got uh, a good responding hand with support for again going responding hand with support for openers major we tend to go a different route in OCP that uses asking bids um, but uh, you'll just have to wait so for the time being delayed game raises are, are very much part of the equation um, and uh, splinters as we'll see next week I think I've got yeah how about this So this is still treated as a high reverse in precision. So this is upper range. Uh, with a lower range hand, West would probably either support hearts or rebid the spades or bid two no trumps or something other. Uh, once they start bidding a three card minor as a high reverse, they're definitely showing an upper range hand. Um, So this is very much good news for West. Uh, they've got a really good holding to have in hearts of Ace X. Um, they've got reasonably good controls. Um, so West is going to make a try here. And now you're asking maybe suppose West had the ace of diamonds the fact is they're limited to 15 high card points so if they had the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts the most they could have in spades is either the king 
or the Queen Jack. So either way, you've got a loser somewhere, potentially. So there's no danger of seven spades being missed here. So in OCP, um, we tend to use Italian style cubiting. So it's quite okay for East to cubid their singleton diamond at the five level over five clubs. Um, they don't have to just sign off because they don't have an ace. Um, the fact is showing controls once you get into to Italian style cue bids, uh, it the bidding tends to flow. No, I don't think I don't think Sonia that West would cue bid a singleton heart. I don't think that's remotely helpful given that East has bid hearts. Um, you know, it's useful for East to cubid their singleton diamond because it's an unbid suit. You know, West has cubid clubs um, and they and they've bid clubs. So so that definitely is a control um, in the terms of aces and kings. Uh, West doesn't know what East has in in diamonds for their five diamond bid. That could be almost anything. But the fact is, East has that control. Um, but I don't think West would cube at a singleton heart because that's likely to, too much likely to be misleading, and they're only going to show a heart control if it's an honour rather than a singleton, given that East has bid hearts. Does that make sense? Again. You will arrive at your own style of cue bidding over the years. Um, uh, um, he might bid five diamonds, but the difference is over five hearts, he would bid five spades. And so now he's going to wait for West to make another push. Okay. Okay. Okay, any questions, any more questions so far before we turn our attention to the forcing one no Trump response? Okay, what what problem do you have, Sanya, particularly?
He would just bid. He would just bid two no trumps, Sonia, because the two diamond bid is forcing to two no trumps. Okay. Two no trumps isn't showing any extra values. Indeed, uh, one heart, two diamonds, two no trumps is, is. I I don't think the explanation does say that. Um, and if it does, it's wrong. Um, the fact is, the bidding. You know, he, he's got a choice to make here. He could just rebid two hearts, bearing in mind that um, the two Dharma response is giving him no room to bid. So uh, I think there's no absolute guarantee that he's got six card hearts here because he doesn't have to be balanced. Uh, if he's not, you know, he might be minimum with four card clubs. Um, he can't afford to bid three clubs if he's lower range. So he might well just bid two hearts. Um and yes, OK, two hearts might be preferable if you're absolutely minimum um, because it gives responder the maximum amount of room to, to show their hand better. Uh, but I don't think a two no trump response is particularly showing extra values. It might not be showing a maximum, but I don't think it's showing. Um, I mean, I think with a maximum, I think uh, opener would do something other than bidding two no trumps. It, it in most circumstances it does. If it goes one heart, one spade, two sp two hearts. That's definitely six card hearts. I would suggest if it goes one spade, two clubs, two spades, that's almost certainly a six card suit. Because there's plenty of of other bids that that opener can find if uh, if they're say five three three two. You know, you can just manufacture a two diamond bid over two clubs. Um, and there's very little danger of the bidding getting out of hand if opener does that. But over one heart, one spade, there's no need for, for opener to manufacture any kind of a bid. They've got absolute freedom um, to bid something. One spade's forcing for one round. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be minimum. But um, there are different there are different upper range hands. It might be a fairly crappy suit, so you might be maximum or upper range, but only have a relatively poor six card suit, and that's not the sort of hand where you want to be rebidding three of your major so there's, there's, it doesn't absolutely guarantee that it's lower range but the likelihood is that it is fairly lower range yes the other thing you have to bear in mind is that over a sequence like for example one heart one spade as you'll see in a minute either responder probably has fairly decent spades or they've got a, a, a shortage in hearts if they bid one spade. Definitely, it can't be game forcing. It can't be game forcing because openers limited their hand by opening one heart or one spade. So it's only invitational. It's just showing an upper range hand with a good suit and probably some shape. Definitely not game forcing. 
you have to get out you have to get out of that mindset michael um you know once once open has shown an 11 to 15 hand they're not in a position to gain force if you're playing two over one opener can have a 20 count but but and and can af and you can afford to force to game in those circumstances but that's not the case if it goes one heart one spade three or one heart one no trump three clubs in precision that's showing 14 to 15 points and at least five five and that's all it's showing it responder can pass three clubs quite happily because openers limited their hand by opening one spade in the first place but if you're playing two over one or, or most other systems apart from a strong club system that doesn't apply I would say yes normally yeah but that doesn't make it game forcing still doesn't make it game forcing I'm not saying I'm not oh. okay I, I can't I can't answer for what's in John's book okay I didn't write John's book um, and I'm not saying it's wrong I, I don't know the hand in question and it may be the same as, as one that's on the website or not but the fact is even though the, the a two club bid for example over one heart or one spade is forcing to two no trumps and will normally have 11 plus points the fact is from opener's point of view a three level jump rebid by opener does not make the sequence game forcing i'm not saying you're going to stop below game i'm just saying it's not game forcing that's the difference okay phil michael i don't want to spend the whole lesson on on this okay um there's a difference between sequences where it's almost inconceivable that you're going to stop below game and a sequence being game forcing okay there's a there's a a subtle but critical difference here If it's game forcing, then responder cannot pass. If it's simply showing a maximum hand opposite responder's presumed 11 plus hand, it's not game forcing, but it's almost inconceivable that you're going to stop below game. But if responder takes a view to pass because, you know, they've got no good support for openers major but they've got tolerable support for openers openers minor opener is the captain ex as exactly as you say um and and so it's down to them to decide where to go given the information that opener's given them and and if it turns out that three no trumped is absolutely stony cold and they pass three clubs then they'll have to explain their decision making process to opener because opener's done their job they've shown the maximum hand they've shown the five five shape um, and if responder takes a view then that's fine but they have to be able to justify what they do but that still doesn't mean that the three club bid is game forcing because it isn't Okay, let's move on, guys, because uh, we've got quite a lot to cover yet, and we're halfway through the uh, allotted time. Okay, I have to say this right at the start. Uh, if you're used to playing Standard American or Ackle, um, the, the forcing one no Trump response is going to be a wholly alien concept to you at this stage if you've if you've no prior experience of two over one or standard American uh, sorry two over one or precision um, if you have some experience of two over one then you will be used to a forcing one no trump response but there are still differences between the way that the forcing no trump is treated in two over one 
and in precision. And mostly it has to do with the fact that uh, the forcing no trump in 2 over 1 is often used just because responder has to bid something because they can't make a 2 over 1 because it would be game forcing. So they have to bid something and that's one no trump just to keep the bidding alive to allow opener to rebid and show their hand. Um, but the big difference between precision and, for example, standard American is that the one no trump does not show six to nine balanced. It's not a it's not a hand that just needs to keep the bidding open that doesn't have primary support for openers major um, and just wants to say something just in case opener is really strong because opener can't be really strong. So we don't need one no trump to be you know, six to nine balanced without primary support for openers major. Just don't need it. That sort of a hand will very often pass as we covered earlier in the session. So the one no trump response does not promise, promise a balanced hand. It very often will be relatively balanced, but it doesn't promise a balanced hand. Most often, the forcing one no trump response in precision shows either a hand worth a two level or greater limit raise in openers major. So again, we're talking limit raises now and, and they're probably relatively balanced limit ranges. I'm not talking 4333, but sort of 4432 or 2245, something like that. Um, with with reasonable support for openers major might go via one no trump uh, or they are balanced hands without primary support for openers major that are worth at least a natural two no trump rebid in other words they're going to be sort of 11 to 12 or better balanced without support for openers major so those are the two most common categories um, you can also put into the mix here hands that are sort of nine to ten points balanced with with no good support for openers major but where responder is simply trying to find something better and because they're in the sort of nine to ten point range they can afford to try because they can be fairly sure that we do have the balance of the points and uh, if they've got at least a doubleton in openers major they're not too unhappy playing in in openers major if they have to give preference there or if opener repeats their major they're reasonably happy but they just think there might be something better so this is the time when your 4-4 heart fit might get found um, somebody asked earlier on and as you'll see um, there are some other um, there are a couple of other uh, hand types that do come into the uh, the forcing no trump response um, but for the time being let me just stress the main thing which is what I said at the beginning okay um, the, the, the two other routes which I'll explain in more detail in a minute. Uh, the two other hand types that use the forcing no trump is either uh, game forcing slam invitational or potentially slam invitational hands with support for openers major. OCP uh, uses the one no trump forcing response for those hands and then after openers rebid we get into an asking bid sequence. Um, again we'll cover that when we get to the asking bids I'm not going to cover that today uh, and the last one is weak responding hands with no tolerance for openers major and along at least six card suit of their own now initially that is always available but 
once we start on the asking bids, an unpassed responder's hand doesn't have that route available. If they're a passed hand, if they have passed before opener opened, um, then, then that route is still available. Long week responding hands with no tolerance for openers major can, can go the route of bidding one no trump and then simply bidding their suit over whatever opener rebids shows that kind of a hand. But those are the bids that we use for the asking bids if uh, responder isn't a past hand, as you'll see later in the series. So just to confirm that, So in that example I've shown in the text there, oh, partners open one spade and we've got seven diamonds, singleton spade, we've only got a seven count. Um, so we would bid one no trump at this stage of the series, we would bid one no trump and whatever partner bid, if they bid two clubs, we would now just bid two diamonds and partner would be expected to pass that. If they bid two hearts, we would bid three diamonds. If they bid two diamonds, we would just pass it. We've only got a seven count, they've only got 15. The chances of us being able to make five diamonds is almost nil. Um, partner would have to be impossibly strong for that to be the case. Uh, and uh, if partner rebid their spades, we would have to decide whether to play in the 6-1 fit or whether to insist on our diamonds by bidding three diamonds. But though that, those three diamond bids or two diamond bids are the bids that we would eventually use for asking bids if we had a slam invitational hand with support for spades. So if responder was a passed hand, then, then those long week suit varieties are available. But if they're ultimately, at this stage, we can do it whether we're a past hand or not. But once the asking bids come into the equation, then if we're not a past hand, then uh, we can't use that route. Anybody got any questions so far about the long week suit? Again, I'm not going to cover the slam invitational hands at this stage because... Uh, it's it's not really worth it. Uh, we'll come come to them later on when we look at gamma. Anybody got any questions? I think I've got an example hand of this somewhere. Don't worry about the two club bid. I'll explain that in a minute. say at this stage that the, the the poor tolerance for openers major you have to take with a little bit of a pinch of salt here um, even if you give north a doubleton spade here the fact is this this hand is likely to play hugely better played in hearts even opposite a singleton heart in the south hand than it is playing in spades because uh, played in, in spades, north hand is worth one trick, which is the ace of hearts. Maybe you might get the queen of clubs, but it's not likely to generate any more tricks than those two. Played in hearts, there's a wealth of tricks available in the north, in the north hand, and south, who is deemed to be stronger, um, is better off playing in North long suit than they are insisting on one of their suits. So, uh, generally speaking, it will be 
a hand with with little or no tolerance for openers major but you might have as much as a doubleton um, if you had a you know a much longer suit than openers likely to have to offer as an alternative and you'll see that as we go through the system that, that generally speaking where um, partner is weak with a long suit we tend to try and play in their long suit unless it absolutely doesn't make sense to to do so or unless we know that they've got support for ours um, we tend to try and play in their suit because we tend to get more value out of their hand that way Okay, any questions about the long week suit variety? Uh, if not, we'll uh, crack on looking at the forcing no trump in detail. So those those are the main, at this stage, the main four types of hand that use the forcing no trump is um, hands worth at least a two level limit, level limit raise in openers major hands worth at least a two no trump invitation to three no trumps both of those types tend to be relatively balanced um, exceptionally you might have nine to ten point balanced hands where opener doesn't have sorry responder doesn't have primary support for openers major but they do have a reasonable tolerance for it but they think there might be the chance of finding something better to bid than uh, playing an openers major. Um, and the last one is the long week suit variety, um, which is available in any sequence at the moment, but which eventually gets dropped if responder isn't a past hand. Any questions? Okay, Coke. Okay, the order of these is intentional and important. Okay, so the, f the first priority is to show a second suit, a four card suit or longer, um, if they hold one. So if we reverse into spades, that is showing upper range um, and a jump rebid shows a maximum hand with at least five five in the two suits. The second order of priority is to rebid a six card suit or a very strong five card suit. And again, jump rebids show a maximum with a good six card suit. But note that showing a second suit takes priority over rebidding a six card suit normally. Uh, the third one is to rebid two no trumps with a a set up six card or longer suit and an upper range hand and and the basis of that is that if responder doesn't have support for openers major it suggests possibly three no trumps might be a better pressing space than uh, four of the major and the last one is that with any any 5332 shape hand of whatever strength opener simply rebids their cheapest three card minor at the two level as we saw here so this is the two club bid on the sequence that's shown on the hand here here south is 5332 shape so they just 
over one no trump they just bid their cheapest three card minor which is two clubs and the reason for that initially is so that we can definitely stop at the two level when north has the long week suit variety but it also keeps the bidding really nice and low when we get to the asking bids if north has the slam going hand with support for spades because you can start asking about spades with a two diamond bid which means we're starting our slam invest investigation at the bottom of the two level which is an option uh, not available to any other system okay so showing a second suit is the most important thing re being a six card suit the next um, number three doesn't occur very often um, so for most hands the third priority is with a 5332 shape just bidding your cheapest three card minor and you must have one any questions so far just to stress that because again people right well go on Sanya go for it okay okay um, 2n would be relatively balanced and three hearts wouldn't no relatively balanced so if if opener was 6322 with maybe some scattered values outside hearts but a good long strong heart suit now they might bid two no trumps because if opener's got that 9 to 10 count with a singleton heart and was just looking for something better now it may well be that three no trumps is a really good way place to play but we don't necessarily want to play in four hearts because we've got to make 10 tricks there but three hearts would definitely be almost certainly have a shortage somewhere um, okay that's that's the main difference they're both you know and and three hearts wouldn't have to be as strong as ace king queen jack xx set up six card suits set up six card suit means just that uh, i mean it is solid it's saying i've got six tricks in my major but if you've got you know ace king jack to six that's worth a three heart bid perhaps but not a three a two no trump bid okay this is this is something that that will perhaps be alien to to most people who have no knowledge of, of precision um, the reason that we we tend to show second suits rather than rebidding our six card suit is because it is actually a lot more constructive you're telling partner a lot more about your hand bearing in mind that that the two most common things that op that responder will have if they bid one no trump is they'll either be balanced without support for our major but they will have at least a doubleton in it or they will have primary support for our major so it's much more constructive for us to show a second suit first and then maybe show the sixth card in our opening major later on than it is just to show one extra card about our hand rather than four extra cards about our hand by rebidding our major does everyone follow that Cause it's quite important that you understand the reasoning behind that otherwise you're going to tend to slip into rebidding your six card 
Yes. Absolutely, Brian. The only time... I, I mean, the only time... If, if you've got four spades, five hearts, you know, and, and the minimum hand, you've got a problem. And if I was four, five, two, two shape and minimum, I might well decide not to open the hand because I don't have a sensible rebid over partners one no trump response. Um, if I was four five three one or four five one three, I would, because if partner bids one no trump, I can just rebid my three card minor, and and partners quite used to the idea that I may only have three cards in my minor suit rebid, so they're not likely to pass that or to raise the minor unless they're desperate or unless they've got five card support. So I can I can afford to do that with a three card minor, but I won't do it with a two card minor normally. So if I was lower range, if I was upper range, I'm fine because I can reverse into spades. If I'm lower range, I will tend not to do it if I'm four, five, two, two shape. I would tend to pass and then come in and bid more strongly later on. But I've no problem in rebidding uh, a four card suit. Absolutely none at all. Is that what you meant? I, two, three, four, five doesn't make much sense. Brian. Just one sec, guys. Oh, I see. Yes, absolutely. You're not promising an honour. You're not promising strength. I might decide to hide it, but if I can, if I can rebid two clubs with Ace XX, I can certainly rebid two clubs with two, three, four, five of a suit. The fact is, you're you're showing the shape of your hand more than anything else. Um. Okay, you, again, your your. The fact is, most of the time, when opener when responder bids one no trump, Brian. Most of the time, they've either got a hand that's worth a bid of a rebid of two no trumps, or they've got support for openers spades. That's eighty percent of the hands that bid one no trump over one of a major in OCP. So they're not going to pass two clubs. There's a tiny, tiny number of hands where they're, they, they, you know, they might be void in spades, and they might bid one no trump, hoping that you're going to bid something else, and then they can just find something different. And now you might get passed in clubs, but the fact is, if that's the case, I don't care if I've only got two, three, four, five of the suit. If they've got a void in my spade suit. If they've got a weak hand and they're just desperate to find, that's the way that it goes. Okay. Again. Responder has to judge whether to pass or whether to, to bid one no trump and, and try and find something different. And, you know, the number of points that they have and the degree of their lack of tolerance for spades is a fairly critical thing. Because a lot of the time, if you bid one no trump and you've got a void, partner's going to bid two spades and you're no better off. You're just one level higher. So very often you're better off just biting your tongue and passing one spade and hoping that ops protect, which they will do a lot of the time.
Okay, let's get back to Opener's Rebids. Um, okay, so if I had a really strong six card major and a really weak six card minor, a uh, four card minor, I might decide to. Um, ignore the minor I might do but most of the time I'm still going to show the minor that's my personal preference but uh, normally you should show a second suit in preference to rebidding a six card major um, that's there just because most people find that concept totally alien and they're really worried about suit quality rather than shape the shape of the hand and being constructive and it doesn't matter how much i tell you you're still going to go into it um so you know if you had brian's two three four five hand of clubs if you decide to rebid two spades or two hearts over one no trump then that's fine um i think in the long run you'll find it better to bid two clubs especially once we start using the asking bits. How do you mean, Charlene? Um, you mean rebidding the six card suit or showing the second suit? Well, yeah, I, I mean, the fact is. What you have to remember is that if you rebid your six card suit, you're only telling partner about one extra card in your hand. If you show the second suit, you're telling them about four extra cards in your hand. So now they're, they're in a much better position. Yeah, okay. They're, they're in a much better position to, to judge where to play. Okay, you haven't promised the six card in your major, but you have given him an alternative. But bearing in mind that, that eight times out of ten, they're either going to be rebidding two no trumps or they're going to be supporting your spade suit anyway. <laughs> yeah, John. <laughs> no, he meant literally two, three, four, five of a suit. John, I, I got that wrong. He, that wasn't a, a typo for two, two, four, five. He meant literally the two, the three, the four, and the five of a suit. In other words, a, a really crap suit. But it's still more constructive to show that really crap suit when eight times out of ten, responders either going to be supporting your major anyway or bidding no trumps anyway. That's, that's the different mindset that you have to get into over a precision forcing one no trump is that most of the time it's not used probably only 10 percent of the time is is a responder going to be just desperately trying to find something better than your major to play in and they might pass your two club bid with two three four five or bid three clubs um, 80% of the time, they're either going to be rebidding in your major anyway, or they're going to be rebidding in no trumps anyway. So now it's much better to show the shape of your hand by showing the second suit than it is to simply show the sixth major, the sixth card in your major. Where was I? So that last sequence that I've shown there is the long week suit variety. But if we were using the asking bids, that would be asking about hearts the two diamond bid would be um, 
unless responder was already a past hand in which case it would still be the long week suit variety even after we've started using asking bids so so over openers rebid responder does whatever they think is right they either pass or raise openers second suit if they've shown one or they pass if his rebid is major or the gives preference or bids no trumps or whatever depending on what kind of hand type responder has So for the time being, the long week suit variety is always available because we aren't using asking bids yet. But uh, half the time that goes uh, once we do get to asking bids. So if it's gone past one spade, one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, then this is still weak hand, long diamond suit, no tolerance for spades. Okay, so if just look at that sequence there. One spade, one no trump, two clubs, two spades. Um, and you'll notice it says I'm showing at least a decent tolerance for spades. I might only have two spades. Most of the time I'm going to have a reasonable three-card support for spades. But I might just have that nine to ten point hand with a doubleton spade. And I was looking for something better, but clubs isn't it. Um, but the fact is I'm still I'm still happy to play in spades and I'm probably 8 to 10 ish so this is essentially a limit bid in spades um, if I bid three hearts over one heart one no trump two clubs three hearts now I've definitely got decent heart support um, and I'm probably going to be in the sort of 10 to 12 range one spade one no trump two diamonds two no trumps 11 to 12 balance no good support for spades and so on if it went one spade one no trump two diamonds pass I might simply have that nine to ten point hand and I prefer I've got you know decent probably five card support for uh, diamonds given the opener only has to have three to rebid two diamonds um, I've probably got five card support might only be four uh, but definitely I prefer diamonds to spades but I might have the long week suit variety Three lines up, spades equals hearts. Yes, sorry, hearts, not spades. You're right. I'm not going to re-send it, Roger, but you're right. That line, three three lines up, should say two clubs dash three hearts is now showing three card support or longer support for hearts. Sorry. Senior moment. Um, obviously one spade one no trump two diamonds pass might be that the responders got the long week suit variety and they've got diamonds in other words they're very happy that partners got at least three diamonds but they've got a, a weak hand it's not going to be a strong hand otherwise they'd be bidding two diamonds over one spade
Okay, uh, let's look at a few examples of one node trump sequences. I've got a few of these. Obviously, you might get interference in some of these, but I'm not going to bother with that. All right, Sanya, just give me a minute. Let me just uh, let me just do this hand, and then you can ask your question. I'm just going to whiz through these examples, guys. Um, if anybody's got any questions uh, that arise from the hands, just shout up. But they're mostly self-explanatory. What was your question, Sanya? Okay, most of the time, a 2 over 1 will be a 5 card suit. A 2 over 1 in a major, so 1 spade, 2 hearts, definitely a 5 card suit, if not a 6 card suit. You don't initially, you just, okay, I'll take the third one, that's very easy. You just rebid 2 of it. Okay, you can't do anything else. So if you're 5 two, two, four in spades and diamonds, over one no trump, you just bid two diamonds, even if you're bursting maximum. Bearing in mind that eight times out of ten, two diamonds is not going to be passed. Okay, there's, you know, the times, if, if partner passes two diamonds, it's because they were desperate and weak-ish. Okay, um, dealing with the other two, most of the time, like I said, a two over one will be a five card suit. Exceptionally, you might do it with a four card suit. Uh, but for example, if you had that four, 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 one hand with a singleton in openers major, I would bid one no trump on that because I'm intending to rebid two no trumps or three no trumps over their rebit. Okay, so I'm going to bid one no trump, they're going to bid whatever they want, and unless they bid hearts, I'm going to be rebidding two no trumps or three no trumps. I don't, it doesn't bother me that I've got a singleton in their major. They, their major presumably can, can hold off ops, and we'll make our, most of our tricks elsewhere in the the other three suits. But I can still make, you know, maybe if they got Queen Jack 10 to 5, um, I might still end up making two tricks in my major, in, in Opener's Major. So, in, potentially, you might bid, you might bid, say, two clubs or two diamonds with a four card suit, but I, I can't, honestly think of a hand where I would do it 
because there's usually a better way of, of doing things, um, i.e. one no Trump. Uh, certainly, I would never cons remotely consider bidding two hearts over one spade unless I had at least five. And if I didn't have spade support, I would have at least six. So I might bid two hearts as a, a preparatory to a delayed game raise uh, with only five, but most of the time I'm only going to suggest the other major if I've got five. Uh, sorry, if I've got six. Okay, um, next example. So here, here's your, your 5-4 maximum hand, um, Sanya. Um, so here, East knows that West may only have three clubs, um, but they've got a nice 12 count here. So absolutely no problem bidding three clubs. Okay, so three diamonds is just a forward going move. Um, it's showing good diamonds and it's saying, you know, maybe uh, three no trumps is the right place to play. But I've almost certainly here got a sp West has almost certainly got a spade shortage. That's what the three diamonds is showing. That that West is probably one five three four shape. And so knowing that they did fill. Because they don't want to play in clubs initially. They're thinking in terms of, of playing in three no trumps. You know, the West's thought, sorry, East's thoughts are not, oh, I've got such a nice club suit and let's play in clubs rather than hearts. Um, he wants to find out more about West's hand. Okay, so, so two clubs tells West about the club suit. But the fact is, really, East is the captain of the hand here. So one no trump is, is effectively asking for more information from West rather than giving the information. Okay. As you'll see here, we are going to play in clubs. Because if West has got a singleton, if West has got a singleton spade, now is the time that we want to play in clubs. Okay, does everybody see the sense behind this sequence? Yes, you could bid it differently. It could go one heart, two clubs, three clubs. But now East is going to be bid three no trumps. And West, well, they don't know. Three no trumps might be absolutely the right place to play. Now East would bid two no trumps. And now, okay, let me just, let me just change the hand, okay? 
and you'll see how we still end up in the right contract. Oops, sorry. Sorry. The thing you have to bear in mind is that is that the three club bid here and the three diamond bid in the previous incarnation of this hand where West was one five three four are forward going moves. In other words, West is upper range, definitely. If they were lower range, they would probably just just pass two no trumps or they wouldn't be making a forward going move of a new suit at the three level. But three clubs must be at least three card clubs. Might be four card clubs, but more likely to be three. Um, but even so, if if West has values in clubs and three card support for clubs and only a singleton spade, clearly, and their upper range, clearly five clubs is a better bet for game than three no trumps. Yes, you might be lucky here and find West with the hand that they do have, but they don't have to have, you know, they might have a little bit more in hearts and less in diamonds, for example. And you could only make eight tricks in uh, no trumps without having to concede uh, a trick to the ace of hearts. But five clubs is absolutely solid. Does that answer you? Does that answer your question, Sanya? Again, Sanya, I think that has more to do with experience and and uh, your lack of being comfortable with constructive bidding sequences. You see, this is this is you know a lot of people find it really weird that there is no game forcing response to one of a major in uh, OCP. They find that incomprehensible. But the fact is here, you don't have to have a game forcing response. You can just keep on bidding. Keep on, on making bids that are forcing for one round. And, and push to gain. You know, over two diamonds, two, two no trumps. No, it's not. Two no trumps is not forcing. It's showing a specific balanced limit raise in no trumps without primary support for hearts three clubs are saying okay you've got 11 to 12 balanced I have upper range I'm upper range so I think it's worth going to game but I do have a spade shortage be warned 
Okay, I've got three card or four card clubs. The, the two diamond bid must be four card now. Might even be five card. But the three clubs is definitely showing three card clubs. Um, and it's saying, you know, I'm up a range, so I, 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 ex I effectively, absolutely. The fact is, a lot of the time, exactly, it is. Three, three clubs here is a fragment. It might be a four card suit if, if West was naught five four four, but more likely he's one five four three. He might even be naught five five three. But clearly, hearts or diamonds haven't lit any. With with five, with naught five five three, he probably rebid three diamonds rather than three clubs. A fragment is is normally a three card suit. When you've shown, when you've shown uh, nine cards between two other suits. A fragment is normally showing a three card suit somewhere else and a shortage in the fourth suit. That's the way it's most often used. Absolutely. Yeah. He's had a. Um, okay, they might bid four hearts rather than five clubs. Uh, on the basis that ten tricks is easier to make than eleven. But I don't think I would, I would risk uh, four hearts if I had XX in hearts because on this sequence east knows that west only has five so when you've got high x i ace x or king x or queen x in the suit then then playing on a five two fit is tolerable because you, you you're helping your hand is helping towards the solidity of their hearts um But I mean, even even with Ace X in the East hand, it may well be that five clubs is a better resting spot than uh, than four hearts, just because you know you've got the eight card eight card foot. Um, again, you know, experience will 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 help you here once you've started bidding these kinds of sequences more often you tend to get a feeling not always reliable but you tend to get a feeling as to whether it's worth trying to play in a 5-2 fit at the 4 level rather than a 5-3 fit at the 5 level and a lot of the time it depends on your controls, your expectation of um, partners roughing value uh, here in the spade suit you know, here there's a good chance that West has got something like the Ace Queen of Spades, um, and so you you may not want to rough twice in the West hand if you had Ace X of Hearts. You might not want to rough twice in the West hand and risk compromising your trump solidity in clubs. Um, whereas if East had Ace King Jack. 10 9 or ace king jack 10 x in clubs now the most that partners likely to have in clubs is queen xx so now i don't care how many times i have to rough in the west hand in spades so i'm much more likely to want to play in five clubs rather than four hearts okay brian i, I mean 
you know, you as usual, you can you can decide one way, and it turns out that the other way was wrong. And and on this kind of a sequence, you know, you don't have X-ray vision, and it does depend entirely on exactly what partner has, and you can't tell that absolutely for certain, and not unless you've got an, an asking bid sequence. Okay, uh, a quick summary, and then we'll. Um, it doesn't have to, Sanya. It's showing shape, but I mean, in this kind of a sequence, I, I would submit that there's no way that West would bid three clubs on XXX. Not a chance. They might do it on, say, Queen Jack X. But I would suggest that probably high XX is the absolute minimum. But in, in a different kind of a sequence, say after a, a fast fourth suit force, which we come to uh, a bit later in the series, um, when we're in, might do it on that. Might might do it on that, Brian. Um, normally, normally it would be a three-card suit, but exceptionally, if it's a really strong something like Ace Queen. Um, but bear in mind, East hasn't shown clubs at this stage, and uh, you know if they had. I don't know, jack to four clubs, say. Uh, I might be wary of, of doing it with ace queen. But but occasionally, yes, you could do it with that. Especially if you thought the lead was going to come up to that. But with the opening lead going through it, I might, might be a bit uh, more reluctant. I mean, three clubs is looking for three no trumps here. It's not looking for five clubs. Three clubs in this sequence is looking for three no trumps. You know, if East had something like ace, queen, ten of spades or something like that, you know, they'd quite happily bid three no trumps over three clubs. It's the fact that they've got ace, x, x opposite a known singleton. Now it, it's clearly right to bid five clubs rather than uh three no trumps when you know you're going to get a spade lead whoever's on lead here north or south they're going to lead a spade absolutely for certain so i mean even when west has ace queen stiff of clubs five clubs is a better contract than uh than three no trumps but only because East has got King Jack 10, 9, 8. Okay. A quick summary, and then I might might go a little bit might go a little bit over time today, since naomi has gone to bed anyway. Uh, and uh, we'll try and practice a few. Apart from the fact that they're forcing to two no trumps. So if it goes one spade, 
two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. Strictly speaking, that's forcing because the two club bid was forcing to two no trumps. Um, If if uh, opener was absolutely rock bottom minimum, they might pass two spades on the basis that it's unlikely that openers, uh, sorry, responders probably fudged the requirements for the two club bid in the first place um, and is simply giving preference. But uh, most of the time you would treat that two spade bid as forcing for one round because it's forcing the two club bid was forcing to two no trumps. So again, that's the most common ones, but there are some others. Okay, so that's what we've covered tonight. Um, I know it's 12 o'clock and I would normally finish round about now, but uh, like I said, Naomi's gone to bed. So um, let's practice a few hands for about half an hour. If I can have uh, four victims, please. Um, anyone will do. Yeah. Um, currently scheduled practices out with these uh, uh, teaching sessions are Sundays at nine o'clock um, Sundays at nine o'clock uh, UTC which is 5 p.m. EDT currently um, that's John Luke's practice tomorrow night uh, that's normally targeted practice with a load of hands um, looking at what I've covered tonight and Thursday nights Roger has a practice do you do it in IAC Roger or is it in the main bridge club I can't remember okay also in IAC um, and I'm, I'm not sure, do you target those or is it just a general practice, Roger? With all your hand bidding capabilities, I presume it's targeted. Okay, so that's also targeted on what I've covered the previous week. So those two practices, Sundays and Thursdays, are available every week. Uh, please also bear in mind you can get uh, videos of this lesson on YouTube or via Rogers AA bridge program if you haven't already got that um, if you ever miss any of these you can grab them via Rogers site the link for which is there or directly off YouTube if you search for OCP super precision I think you'll find them um, right can I have an East please anybody doesn't matter if you're totally new to uh, precision please just have a seat anyone will do come on guys time is money I'm... well I partner you but it's no fun for me uh, Sanya I can I can see all uh, 52 cards and I set the hands in the first place 
Right, just bear with me a minute. Okay, we'll just whiz through these. No asking bids today. Um, I might allow you occasional beta, but that's all. Since you're all reasonable, but, but keep, try and keep asking bids out of it. Um, because people who are new to OCP uh, won't follow those, and I don't want to confuse them first. And try and remember to alert, guys, if you need to. Um, A, it helps Roger's use of the hands and uh, yes I'll set them just hang on a minute I haven't I mentioned FD last time round um, just bear with me a minute And we're not going to play these, so uh, once the bidding's finished, please just lead and claim. Yes, please. Thank you, John. Okay, very good. Well done. Okay. Um, only comment here is personally, I would bid three spades immediately with the north hand rather than bidding one no trump first because one no trump tends to show the more balanced limit raise kind of hand. Uh, Might even bid four spades over one spade uh, with the north hand. Uh, yeah, but it's it's preemptive primarily. Roger is still going to bid four spades because he's nearly a maximum. He's got really good controls and he's got shape of his own. So he's, he's actually going to bid four spades over whatever you do at the three level and however you get there. But I'm just saying, looking at the north hand in isolation... I'd, I'd probably be more inclined to treat it as preemptive because apart from the Ace of Diamonds, it's pretty quacky, but I have got really nice four card support and I've got that heart shortage. Um, so I'd, I'd probably treat it more as a preemptive kind of hand um, and just bid three spades straight off. I might bid four spades straight off with that because it is nice. Okay, and and no no mini splinter is fine. Um, it's a bit strong. It's a bit strong for a mini splinter. Um, mini splinters are typically about eight to nine high card points, and you're a bit too good for that. Which is why I get back to the the three spade bit. Um, if I was a little bit more balanced, I would I would go the route that you've chosen, but with that singleton heart, I would tend not to. But it's a matter for you. I, you know, either way, you're going to get to four spades, and that's all that matters. Um, you know, it's only from a, a systemic point of view. Uh, I would tend to do it slightly differently, but 
doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I'll fill uh, mini splinters come next week. I think it is. Um, so, so if you can hold your uh, enthusiasm for them in check, uh, we get to splinters, mini splinters, and fit showing jump shifts. I think next week. Unfortunately, I can't cover the whole system in one week. That's why it takes 12 months. <laughs> As, as time goes on, you'll see that there's lots of different ways of skinning a cat. Um, and the lovely thing about OCP is that you have lots of ways of bidding these sorts of hands, uh, which is why the major suit openings takes four weeks to cover. Well, I, I mean, if you if you want to to open week third in hand, that's fine. Um, I don't think. The thing is, it doesn't have to be weak. You know, I might I might push to open certainly one no trump in third seat, but no, we don't use Drury. Again, because because opener is limited to 11 to 15 points, there's much less use for a, a system like jury. Okay. Um, good sequence here. John John is. Yeah, it's a good point, Roger. I mean, again, we, we haven't got to one no trump yet, but uh, um, if I'm third in hand after two passes, I would much rather open one no trump than one diamond because it's much more preemptive. No, I appreciated that, but it's a good point. Um, but the, the main reason why gadgets like Drury aren't much much help in uh, precision is that the openings are limited to, to 15 points anyway. So uh, because you've got a much more limited scale of values that opener can have, um, gadgets like jewelry are much less useful. Back to this hand, um, I very much like East's two spade bid over one spade, you may think, ah, oh, but hang on, West doesn't have to have more than four spades, but the fact is, East has three card spade support and a roughing value in clubs, and uh, and they've got a strong hand, so playing in West's suit becomes more attractive. Um, and a lot of the time, as here, West will actually have five or even six card spades. And two spades gets the ball rolling very much more quickly. So we've breezed into four spades here. Um, good contract. Well done. Any questions, anybody? Did we get a claim? Already? Did you claim, Sanya? Okay, that's fine. If you've if you've got three card support, then any doubleton, singleton, or void is a roughing value. Simple as that. Okay, it's possible that partner's only got a singleton club. 
in which case you haven't got a roughing value. But uh, your expectation is that partner's going to have three card or longer clubs. Um, but the thing is, is that two spades is is more helpful. You know, the other options for East here would be to rebid two diamonds over two over one spade because they've got values in diamonds. What I certainly wouldn't do is to rebid two hearts. So two diamonds wouldn't be wrong. Yes, absolutely right, John. I, I mean, you'll see that, that we have, uh, as a system, OCP has no fear of Moisians. We're a little bit more wary of them at the sixth level, but uh, even there they have their place. Um, but certainly at the two level, absolutely no fear at all. If partner's got four card spades and no good support for hearts and passes two spades, I'm quite happy, even if they've only got four card spades. Quite happy. Okay. Well, Sanya, there was a, a famous a famous hand that the Italian blue team once played where they consciously bid to, uh, I think it was seven clubs on a known 4-2 fit, and it was the only making Grand Slam. Uh, famous, famous hand. Um, good evening. Close enough, anyway, you all right? I'm running a bit late. If you if you look at uh, Bridge with the Blue Team, uh, you'll find it in there somewhere. Um, very famous hand, brilliant hand. Okay, so two diamonds was forcing to two no trumps. Um, three diamonds is obvious. Okay. North here isn't seriously thinking that South has got four card spades, but it's showing where their values are. Um, especially given North's pretty weak clubs. But three spades, because it's a reverse by responder, is definitely uh, game forcing. Possible, but it's more likely to be, you know, South's got other options other than bidding three diamonds. Um, but it might only be three card diamonds. You okay? Uh, sorry? Your voice oh, I'm sorry, my love. Sorry. Oh, are you been... Okay, um, claim lots of tricks. I personally, I think, uh, I might have tried four clubs beta. I know I said no asking bids today. Um, If we were if we were playing 
um, the full system, I would expect North to be bidding four clubs over three no trumps as beta, which is asking how many controls South has. Uh, in the expectation of playing um, five diamonds or six diamonds here, even opposite a three card diamond suit. Um, it's more likely that South has four card diamonds. But uh, if you're not playing asking bids, three no trumps is fair enough. Um, as you can see, it's going to make six diamonds fairly easily. The other thing that Yes, John, but like I said, we haven't got asking bids in the equation. So, so yes, you would do it completely different ways if you had asking bids. Um, you would almost certainly go that one no trump route, let South three bid two diamonds, and now you would bid three clubs asking in diamonds. Um, clearly, that's, that's the route that gets you to six diamonds. Um, back to you, Phil. Uh, you just have to get into a slightly different mindset precision changes the whole way that intermediate openings work um, the, the value of, of limit bids when partner is limited to 15 points only is is much less useful um, you know one spade two spades showing six high card points and three card spades doesn't do it for precision when opener may only have an 11 count and and has a maximum a maximum of 15 um, one spade two spades as a preemptive raise obstructing opponents is much more useful i'm not saying it's said you know, as you've seen, we have the limit raises there, but a slow route via one no trump. Um, one no trump and then supporting partner is essentially a limit raise, whether you do it at the two or the three or even the four level. But the direct suit raises are, are much more useful as being preemptive and primarily obstructive. Okay, if you if you're doing it at the three level, the likelihood is that it's our hand anyway, but you're making it more difficult for ops to come in. That's the critical thing. Okay. Uh, right, one more and then I think we'll call it a night. Since I'm 20 minutes over time already. Oh, come on. Did you fall asleep, Charlene? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll let you... I'll let you choose, Roger. You can either use a splinter or you can give them a display of forcing no trump gamma sequences here. Yeah. Okay, so for those who aren't used to OCP, um, you're about to see a sequence that uses asking bids. Um... So uh, if, if you take it slow north-south, and I'll try and explain what happens here. So this is getting you a little bit of a foretaste of... No, Charlene, two diamonds, 5332. No, undo, please.
All right, just hang on a second, guys, because the, the biddings are going to get mucked up here. I'm just going to send this hand again. Just bid it again, please. Sorry, the if we have a bid and then an undo of two bids, then the uh, it tends to crash my computer ultimately with a sequence as long as this is going to be. So don't forget, over over one no trump, if you think about those order of openers rebids, with any any 5332 hand, opener rebids the cheapest three card miner. Okay. Roger's about to bid two spades here, which, from what I told you today, is the long week suit variety with lots of spades. But once we start using asking bids, this doesn't apply. Two spades is now basically looking for slam in hearts. So two spades is an asking bid, asking how long and how good North's hearts are. The responses are stepped. And the three step, three diamond response shows a five card heart suit and two or three of the top three honours. So Roger knows that the hearts are absolutely solid and now is going to bid three spades, which is another asking bid called Relay Beta, which asks how many controls North has. Pre precision um, doesn't think in terms of aces and kings, we think in terms of controls. And an ace is worth two controls and a king is worth one control. So three spades is asking how many North, how many controls North has in total. So four diamonds shows four controls, so it's either two aces or four kings or an ace and two kings. Can't be all four kings, so we know it's either the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds, or one of those and the two and two kings outside. So now uh, Roger is going to ask about spades specifically with four spades. Okay, I, I appreciate. I, I'm not. I'm just trying to give you a flavour here of of what you're going to come to originally, Christina. Um, you know, you don't have to remember what I'm showing you here. So four spades is asking what degree of control North has in spades. Um, try five diamonds, Charlene. Five diamonds, Charlene, please. Five diamonds shows second round control of spades without third round control. So it's either a singleton spade or it's king XX. Okay. Um... Alrighty, I think uh, you can actually afford five spades here, Roger, which is checking which of those two it is. Because you know you're going to go to six hearts regardless. So this is a repeat ask about spades, asking what kind of second round control North has? No, six clubs, Charlene, sorry. No, Charlene, undo, undo, undo. Six clubs, Charlene, you've got a, an honour, not shortage. Five no trump shows that your second round control was a shortage, i.e. a singleton. 
six clubs shows that it was an honor in other words you've got king xx in spades no no problem shani that's okay and roger's now totally happy to go to seven hearts because if you imagine and, and i'll explain if you just all right just pass and then before you lead i'll explain why roger is totally have to go to seven hearts um okay north rebid two diamonds which might only be a three card suit but might no don't lead yet john sorry okay well don't claim yet north rebid two diamonds and has subsequently shown three card spades or possibly even four card spades um so the fact is they once they show up with we know they've got um the ace queen of hearts once they show up with the king of spades they must have either the king of diamonds or the king of clubs as well absolutely nothing else they can have but it doesn't actually matter which of those they have because the fact is they can't possibly have more than two clubs and if they've got king xx in spades uh, we will be very lucky indeed if we can't establish at least one long spade trick even if the spades are 4-1 one, one long spade trick on which to discard the losing club if they've got the king of diamonds so seven hearts is absolutely solid here um, I said last week that you know you can end up being able to pretty much write down partner's hand with these asking bids and although you can't do that on this hand you know enough about North's hand that you can be absolutely certain where the uh, where your tricks are going to come from okay um, claim 13 please and the spades are 4-1 but you can establish that long spade um, well done okay um, guys she certainly has um, hopefully the second time round through the asking bids will uh, and these sequences will will help cement some stuff for all of you <laughs> okay guys it's uh, half 12 um, okay so don't forget AA bridge um, if you haven't already got it go and go and grab AA bridge if you haven't already got it um, go along to John's practice Sunday night in IAC and uh, also to Roger's practice on Thursdays there is nothing like just sitting watching OCP being played and playing some hands yourself to actually cement these lessons into your heads um, and uh, I'm really grateful to Roger and John for running these practices because they're an enormous asset to this teaching program no do not um, and Maisie is May still sometimes doing those practices on Mondays I'm not sure if they're still going but sometimes uh, May Maisie runs um, just general practices is she okay all right so forget Monday nights for the time being but Thursdays and Sundays please and uh, hopefully I will see you all next week